Welcome to the valve studio. I've set up a dial indicator uh, right here and I have it connected up to a angle bracket that's on the, the z-axis over here and what I'm going to do is move X back and forth and I've uh, tried to eliminate as much cosine error as possible by having my dial indicator arm uh, you know at a zero angle. And I've got two cameras set up. I have the one that's here um, for a zoomed in um, a zoomed in view of the dial indicator and I try to eliminate as much parallax as I can. Then over here on this side I have a, another camera to actually show you the control panel. And so let's uh, let's see what we get here. This is totally unscientific. I've not dialed in anything. This is the exact same machine you saw in the last video. I've not tightened any wheels. I haven't done any of that yet. Let's see what we end up getting. Now over on the um, over on my stepper motor, I've went ahead and switched uh, my micro stepping switches here. And if I if I know this switch setting here, I can read up here that um, on my pulse per revolution table, I'm way down here on 6,400 pulses per revolution, which is uh, what's well, crazy. It's like a 30 seconds of it's 30 second steps 30 second stepping i guess i should say all right let's get to it so over here i have actually modified the software a little bit and i'm on a millimeter so i'm going to do everything in millimeters these two buttons actually move back and forth and this one here is set up now to move by 0 0.01 millimeters and this one over here is 0 0.001 millimeters. All right. Um, you know, I, I, we're going to see some pretty interesting results when we click it down to really tiny values. Okay, let's get to it. All right, so... <clears throat> Like I said, I'm on point one, and I've got my uh, indicator loaded, and my indicator is a um, is a cheap, no name dial indicator that is 0 0.01 millimeters, which means I think uh, that each tick on my dial is 0 0.01 millimeters, which is a hundredth of a millimeter, which is what I have the individual click set on for the jog wheel. We'll look at just um, positioning as well as a little bit of backlash measurement. And then I'll talk about my inexperience with machining. <laughs> okay. So I probably am doing something wrong here because I, I can't explain these results. Okay, this here, this is from me gently leaning on the table and the flex that gets in, that, that I introduce in because the camera on the dial indicator is not attached to the frame. It is on the table that is a piece of uh, MDF. All right, so let's go one forward. Let's go f click, one click. All right, we'll go to, well, I count off the clicks. So I go up 10, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Okay. now. The camera's got a little bit of parallax that's going on, so it's not really quite quite right. But if I look at it, well, it's, it's pretty, it's fairly minimized. All right, we'll go forward another, another 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now, I guess you can see that. My video camera's got something overlaid on top of that. All right, let's go back. <clears throat> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Okay, so this is pretty predictable. Um, the backlash was, well, actually not seeing any at this point, but I actually do have some backlash. Let's go the other way. 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, now we're off. We are off by a little bit. Let's let's do this again. We'll get all the way back here. So we're all going in the right direction here. The same direction. So we're a little bit shy of the tick mark right here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Well, I don't quite know what to say about that. It's a little off. Let's try this. Let's go coming this way. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Which is we're we're fairly close. We might be a little bit off on our steps, um, steps per millimeter. Might be able to actually tweak this a little bit. But why I'm going to show you this is I'm going to get over here. I'm going to get this the the lead screw kind of bound in one direction. Then I'm going to reduce the step count down to a thousandth of a millimeter. And I'm going to work my way over back over to the zero. So there I'm on the zero. Now I'm going to go up 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's pretty darn close. One, Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now you tell me. I don't know. I mean, I, I. This is my first time actually using a dial indicator for something real. But it looks like to me that I can resolve a tenth of a hundredth of a millimeter, which is a thousandth of a millimeter. And if we look that up, it is something like 0.39 micrometers. I just really don't believe this. <laughs> I can't believe it's so small. But if you, if you do feel the, um, the coupler between the stepper motor and the lead screw, it is moving just a fraction of a of a little bit of a rotation you can feel it move for each one of these little ticks all right let's go back the other way let's let's uh let's load up the lead screw coming in the in this direction so we'll get down to the 20 mark and i'll count backwards okay one two three four five six seven eight nine ten one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That was actually about nine. I clicked it twice. Okay, this is really quite accurate. So what I don't know, I'll have to do some reading or some talk to some machinist friends that I have, and I want to find out about accuracy and repeatability and determine if this machine is actually capable of this kind of performance. I mean, you're seeing it here. And unless somebody writes in and tells me what I'm doing wrong, which I like to know, um, I, I can't believe the level of accuracy that this machine is exhibiting. Now, this doesn't include all the play, you know, in the, in the axis when it's moving and all that stuff. This is just a rudimentary positioning test. But from these results here, me achieving a... A tenth of a millimeter is 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 what I would be wildly uh, I'd call it a wildly successful product project, but I'm seeing a thousandth of a millimeter. You tell me what I'm doing wrong. All right, thanks for watching. This is the Valve Studio.